Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Jaleesa, the owner and lead planner of Lovely Soiree where I help brides to bees plan their own wedding. So in today's video, it's gonna be a really fun video. I did a previous video where I talked about my wedding regrets. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out and I will link the video in the description box. But today I'm gonna to be discussing with you 10 things I'm glad I did for my wedding. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm glad I did for my wedding was a first look. So if you're not familiar with what a first look is, uh, basically, um, both you and your fiance um, will meet at a location and take your pictures before the ceremony. So I was kind of adamant about doing that because I was like, oh, what if he doesn't react the same way when I walk down the aisle during the ceremony? But, you know, we had, you know, we were really emotional when the ceremony came about. But then also, too, when we did the first look, I'm really glad we did because we knocked out so many of our pictures. So after the ceremony during cocktail hour the only pictures we had to really take was pictures with our family so and we were able to kind of enjoy a little bit of the cocktail hour too so yeah i'm really glad we did do a first look so if you are considering doing a first look and you're wondering if your fiance is going to react the same way during the ceremony he, he will because you know once when you walk down the aisle all the emotions start so but yeah i would definitely suggest you do um, a first look so the second thing I'm happy I did for my wedding was hire a day of coordinator. So um, I did plan my own wedding and I wasn't even thinking about hiring a wedding planner because uh, wedding planners can be really expensive. But as I was, you know, um, going through all of my plans and then I realized I don't want to execute these plans the day of because I actually want to enjoy my special day. So we ended up hiring a day of coordinator to, um, you know, take on all our last minute plans and execute our vision the day of. So that way, like I said, we can be able to enjoy it, be able to not worry about all those things. So I just handed over all of the details to her and she took care of everything. So I'm really, really glad that we did hire a day of coordinator. So the third thing I'm glad I did for my wedding was repurpose our bridal bouquets. So we did have a head table and I just really didn't know how I was going to fill up that table. We did have some um, garlands on the table and some tool, but I was like, okay, well, that's going to be kind of plain. So what my floor suggested was we can repurpose the bridesmaid bouquets and your bouquet as well and just add them to the table. So all I had to do was just buy about, I think, like five vases from Target and it didn't cost that much. So I was really happy that we did that because trying to figure out how am I gonna fill up this table? Am I gonna spend extra money to do it? So I'm really glad she suggested we repurpose our bridal bouquets and just add them to the head table. And the fourth thing I'm glad I did for my wedding was um, I found this app, it's called The Guest and it's with The Knot as well. So we didn't have a videographer and what the app basically is you'll set it up prior to your wedding day or if you're having other events as well like an engagement party bridal shower bachelorette party you you sign up and then you set the date and the time and you send it out to your guests and what they would do is any pictures and videos they take it automatically syncs to the app so i'm really really glad i found this and um i just set it up the morning of the wedding because i don't know I guess I forgot. So I ended up setting it up the morning of the wedding and I sent it out to all of my guests. And as soon as the ceremony started or even before the wedding started, every picture they kept taking and video, it just automatically synced to that. And I had so many pictures I didn't have to worry about when people take pictures. Oh, send that to me, send that to me. If you just look on there, all your pictures and videos is on that app. So I still even have a bunch of pictures from the wedding on my phone too. So I'm really happy I found that app. And the fifth thing I'm glad I did for my wedding was reserve a hotel room for the guys to get ready in the morning of the wedding. So um, at the location where we were getting married at, they didn't have a groom suite. So me and my husband was trying to figure out where they were going to get ready at. But my husband was like, oh, we'll just get ready in Pasadena. And you know, we... At the time we were living in Pasadena so and then our wedding was in Long Beach so I was like uh you're not getting ready out there because of the traffic it being Saturday evening no so I ended up reserving the hotel uh we reserved the hotel and then you know I checked in the morning of the wedding and you know all I had to do was just let the receptionist know that uh you know the guys are going to be checking in and I had the key to the hotel too so 
it just worked out so that's something you really truly need to think about that's a detail like i need to probably make another video on the small details that get overlooked so anyway but yeah i'm really glad we did that because i didn't want to have to worry about them commuting and then the stress and then we had a first look location they have to get there on time it just yeah i, I didn't want to be stressed out so the hotel was maybe about five minutes from the the event space and the first look so it was really really close so yeah, I'm glad we did that. So the next thing I'm glad we did for our wedding was we opted out of getting uh, wedding favors. So you know how you go to an event or a wedding and they have all these nice wedding favors, but you forget to take it home with you? Yeah, I don't want that because I didn't want to waste any money. So we ended up getting a photo booth. So that's kind of like a party favor too because once they take the picture, they'll have the picture and they, the, they frame it. So yeah i'm really glad we did that and the next thing i'm glad we did was mingle with our guests so i didn't want to have to worry about i didn't say hi to anybody or this person this person because especially if you haven't seen family members and friends in a long time and they're there you didn't get to say hi to them so while you know everyone was eating me and my husband made a conscious effort to at least hit every table and just say hi thank them for coming because uh, once when the party started that was it because you know you get lost in everything and get pulled everywhere so i'm really glad uh we were able to hit every table and say hi and thank them for coming so yeah and the eighth thing i'm glad we did for our wedding was hire a florist initially i wasn't even thinking about hiring a florist anyway because our decor was so simple and you know i wanted it to be really romantic and, mo and all of our tables is going to be filled with candles anyway. So I was like, do we really need flowers? But of course we did because we needed flowers for our bouquets, the boutonnieres, the corsages. So yeah. And at first I was like, oh, I can I can make these myself. That would be easy, right? And I'm not a florist and don't know much about flowers. So my day of coordinator was like, girl, please do not do that. Really consider hiring a florist. So I was like, oh, do we really have the budget for it? Um, but we did and so I'm really glad we did because trying to deal with flowers the week of the wedding trying to figure out how to keep them fresh was something that was yeah I didn't even want to deal with it so I'm really glad we did hire a florist so the next thing I'm glad we did for our wedding was um, I created a mock-up tablescape and basically what I did was I you know set up a table uh, at my house my kitchen table and I pretty much you know place everything how I wanted it to be not all the uh flatware and stuff but just the the centerpiece on how I wanted all the candle holders to look like even including the table number everything so I put it all together and I even put together the cake table and how I want the cake table to look I put together how I want the guest table to look just so that way my damn coordinator and the florist would know how I wanted everything to look and then from there I just took pictures of it and then, uh, you know, I labeled how, okay, for the floors, I want the greenery to look like this, the roses to look like this. So that way it's no confusion the day of the wedding. And yeah, I was, I'm such an organized freak where I was like, nope, you cannot get this wrong because the picture is here. And so after that, I sent it to them. And then, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. I ended up printing it out. And then at all the boxes of all the decor, I ended up printing out, you know, how I wanted everything to look. I printed it out just in case they you know might have forgotten to print it out so i printed it out for them and i even went a step further and taped the freaking uh picture on the boxes isn't that crazy but just so there was no confusion yeah i'm that crazy <laughs> so yeah um it makes things easier for your wedding planner or day of coordinators to know how you want everything to look because you don't want to you know your wedding day comes you're like oh not that you're probably paying attention to it well you might but and then be like wait that's not how i wanted it so um if you're doing everything yourself i will highly suggest doing a mock-up tablescape and send it out to your day of coordinates so that way they would know and they would probably ask you to so to do that so yeah so the last and final thing i'm glad i did for my wedding was delegate tasks to my fiance so um if you're anything like me an over control freak and want to control everything um yeah it's best to delegate tasks to your fiance because they're that's what they're there for right and um i knew he likes food he's really good with with numbers and money so the budget and music so 
Uh, if you leave the music up to me, I, I would have probably had a whole bunch of Beyonce songs and Bay Area songs. So that's just me. So I'm really glad I delegated all three of those tasks because it was a weight lifted off of my shoulders and I didn't really have to worry about too much. So um, yeah, he was able to um, handle those tasks really, really well and I was able to handle everything else. So yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to be a part of my community here, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye.